all right this is what I'm talking about here is your code right here you have this compare up here and it's a jump of equal and it's jumping down to this RBX and then RSP plus 30 is putting the new address into RBX <clears throat> But what you have when you turn your script on is that we need five bytes to jump to allocated memory for your cheat. So it's having to borrow bytes from this right here. So it's carrying this opcode down to allocated memory with it. So when this jump is equal is hit, it's still jumping to this address, which is the first byte of this instruction. And when it gets here, after you've turned your script on, is your it's just a knot there. So what I'm telling you to do is put your script on the call instead and just knock out this RBX EDI. But all you're going to need is 5 bytes and this call probably is more than 5 bytes so you're going to have to add bytes to the script to knock this out. And carry it to allocated memory and then you can just adjust it from there. Alright, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to show you an example. Now this is a different example but it's basically the same principle. All right, so let me uh, bring up the help, bring up the tutorial, and I'm just going to give you an example of what I'm talking about, or try to anyway. All right, let's go ahead and attach it to the tutorial. We're just going to try to find that health value. Okay, there it is. And find out what access is it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to this call right here, or this compare right here. Alright. Alright, just for the sake of argument, let's say... Uh, I'm telling you to put it on a call, but I'm going to use this for an example because this is more of what you're looking at. So I, let's pretend like that's the call. This move is your call, and you're needing to knock this out. This is the one that we're wanting to modify in our allocated memory okay but if I put my script on this right here there's more than five bytes one two three four five with one byte left over which we knocked that out and uh, I'm telling you to also knock this out as well in your script so I'm going to show you how to do that and let's just pretend this XOR DLL is what we're needing to modify as you can see in your in yours right here I'm telling you to place it on this call your script on this call and that's more than five bytes here, so you're going to have to add more knots to that to put, put this out and add that to your script manually. Okay? Alright, let me get it back. So when I put my script on this move before, that XOR DLL, and we'll just pretend that's the one I need to modify this XOR DLL. We'll just do uh, AOB injection. I'm just going to call it something uh, instruction. I just call it that. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is what the name of that first byte is going to be. That's where it's going to place the jump to new men. And here is the name right here. So this address is now going to be called new uh, instruct that name right there and you'll see when I add it to the cheat table and turn it on you can see let me let me turn it back off so as you can see that move EAX all that mess I turned that on and now we got the jump to our allocated memory right here with that extra knot but it did not knock out this XOR DLL this XOR DLL is one I'm wanting to change in my allocated memory so I need to knock this out also so how do I do that so turn turn off our script we're gonna bring this up and right here where this instruct is we're just gonna count the bytes of what we need to knock out there's two extra bytes and we're gonna add that many knobs just like that but we're not finished yet when we turn the script off we need it to put that XOR DLL back so we need it to restore this 30D2. So we got to add that to this right here so it will put those back. You understand what I'm saying? So now when I come up here, then I'll just add that XOR DLL to my script and modify it as I see fit. And new mem, whatever I need to do. I change it to move or whatever whatever I was needing to do. Same basic principle as in your script. Okay? 
but that's what's going on and I believe that'll fix your crash problem but let me make sure it stayed that way okay now when I turn it on you can see now that XOR DLL is now knocked out also and then when I turn it back off it puts everything back the way it was and that's what you need to do if I follow it to allocated memory you can see that manual one that I put in here is in now in my allocated memory so you just fix your script and code or new mem as you see fit you know basically the same thing that you had in the other script is all you really need I'm just telling you to place I'm sorry I'm just telling you to place your jump to allocated memory on something different and uh, I don't know where it went. There it is. Just place, instead of placing your jump to allocated memory here, you're going to place it on that call instead and just knock this out. And just make sure it puts it back when you turn your script off.